Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to look at how we could hide the charts that we don't want to see and only show the charts by clicking on a particular button. For example, here now there's year month, but I have a chart here which is only showing year. But when I click on year month, now this one changes and it's and this particular chart shows me the year month chart. And if I only want to see the year, I click on this button and the whole chart changes and now it's a year chart. So if you're interested to learn how to do this, stick around. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is go to our container, drag and drop a container here. Let's add a chart and I'm going to say add a bar chart. We could do this with any other chart um, or a table if you wish. So I'm just going to say add bars and here I'm going to say month your month and let's just put sales and let's give it a name let's go into our bar chart and here let's say that this is our your month all right and now i'm going to add another chart and let's also make this let's make it a little bit different shall we um let's make it a bar chart but let's make it horizontal bar chart so you click on a bar chart um, and here i'm going to give a dimension as year instead and the length of bar is the same i'm going to put it as sales and just to make it a bit a bit different i'm going to go in a bar chart go to edit properties and here i'm going to go into appearance go into presentation and here i'm going to select horizontal all right nice um this is done now we have year here and bar so you see both of them right but let's say that by clicking on a button i want it to show up i want only one to be seen and i want it to be seen based on uh, the button that i select well let's first create a variable and let's go into creating variable and here we're going to say well, I'm just going to give it a name, select chart. I'm not going to give a, give any kind of definition here, just create it. Um, good. This is created. And now I'm going to bring in a button and that is inside charts. We have button here and go into action and here under action, I'm going to say when I select this set variable value. So click on that. And what is the variable that I wanted to set? It's the same variable that I just selected. So it was we select chart. And what variable do I want to give it? So when I click on this button, I want it to only show me the year month chart here. So the value I'm just going to give, I mean, you can give any value. So I'm just going to say I wanted this. I want this one to be a year month and click on apply so whenever i click on this button the va variable here gets a value year month great and let's give a name to the button let's go back here let's go to appearance um, and here i'm just gonna say your month and great now let's connect that here shall we so let's go to our container and select on the chart so that's in under content you see the two different charts that you created and then under charts you can create on your month and here you have something called show condition so here you can set the condition when you want this particular chart to be shown so what i'm going to do is here in show condition i'm going to go in and say when the condition of the value of v select chart is equal to your month so apply and it's done so now when i click on this it shows the year month 
otherwise this one is hidden. So let's actually create, let's duplicate this button. So right click, copy, paste it. And this one, we're gonna connect our year chart that we created. First, let's give a name to that chart. So here I see that this is called a bar chart. Let's change this to year and great. And when we click on this button, let's say that the value to be set to the variable is actually instead of year month, this one is year. Great. And let's give the name for this button just so we don't get confused as year. And so what's happening now when you click on this button, the variable gets a value called year month. And when you click on this button, the variable gets a value called year. And you want to connect that here. So you want to say when I click on this, only show me this particular chart. That's what you have done. And when you click on this one, you want it to show only year. So let's go into our container chart and select the year chart over here and say show condition. Here you only want to show this chart if the value of your variable is equal to year. And this variable is set when you click on the year button. So show this show this particular chart if the value of year is year. So let's click on done. And now, now you see that year is hidden because we haven't clicked on it. But when I click on year now, this chart changes and it's a different chart. So this can be pretty darn cool. So for example, you could like really have a small little chart here and hide everything that you don't really want to see. And I think it's, and people will think that, oh, this is just one particular chart. But when you click on a button, the whole thing changes. Um, it's super nice. And it kind of gives you a little bit more dynamic view on your dashboard. Um, and I've, I've actually used this quite, quite a lot. Um, and it helps you not visualize things that you don't really want people to see. So I think it's pretty cool. Hope you really liked it. Um, hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please sign up for the email newsletter so that you get more tips on either Click or BI in general. Hope you like this one. See you in the next one. Peace.